Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Exception Handling. In this tutorial, we will learn about what is an exception, checked and unchecked exceptions, handling the exceptions using try-catch block and finally block. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 OS, JDK 1.8, and Eclipse 4.3.1. To follow this tutorial, you must have knowledge of basics of Java and Eclipse IDE. If not, for relevant Java tutorials, please visit the link shown. An exception is an unexpected event which occurs during the execution of a program. It interrupts the normal flow of the program and results in an abnormal termination. Based on their occurrence, exceptions are classified as unchecked exceptions and checked exceptions. Now we will open Eclipse and create a new project called Exception Demo. Inside this project, we will create the necessary classes to demonstrate exception handling. We will create a new class marks. Now type the following code to represent the marks class. This program prints the marks of 5 students that is stored in an array marks. Let us run this program and verify the output. We can see that the values in the array are getting printed. Let us check what will happen if we are trying to access an array element which is not existing. Now type the following code. We know that there are only 5 elements in our array. But in this statement we are trying to access the element at index 50 which is not existing. Let us run this program now. We can see that the program terminates with an error message Array index out of bounds exception at line number 7. The error message indicates the details of the exception like type of exception, where it occurred and other details. Note that the print statement is not executed as the program terminates after the error. This is an example of unchecked exception. Unchecked exceptions are called as runtime exception as it is checked only during the execution. They handle the programming bugs and logical errors such as dividing a number by zero and accessing an array element which is not existing. Now let us learn about how to handle an exception using try-catch block. This portion of the code within a try block can possibly raise an exception. The corresponding catch block can receive the exception details in object E. Inside the catch block, we can write the code for displaying error messages or recovering from the error. Now, let us switch to Eclipse. First, let us add a try block around the code which caused the exception like this. Now we have to add a corresponding catch block. So type the following code. Here we are printing a custom message array overflow exception occurred. Inside the round brackets we have created an instance of array index out of bounds exception. So this block can catch exceptions of type array index out of bounds exception. Now let us run the program. We can see that the error message gets printed. But this time note that printing the marks array is also executed. In this way we can handle exceptions. Next let us see how to use multiple catch blocks. We can use them when different types of exceptions are raised by a block. Type the following code inside the try block. This line of code divides an array element by 0 as the value of A is 0. So an arithmetic exception will be raised first. Let us now add one more catch block to handle the arithmetic exception. 
So type the following code after the existing catch block. Let us run the program again. This time the error message arithmetic exception occurred gets printed as it is caught first. The remaining portion of the code outside the try catch block executes. Next, let us see about checked exceptions. Checked exceptions are checked at compile time. So they must be handled before running the program. For example, accessing a file which is not existing or accessing a network system when the network is down. Now let us switch to Eclipse and create a new class marks file. Let us add main method. Now we want to read a file located in the computer. So type the following code. Here the file reader object fr is initialized as null. File reader object can be used to access and read a particular file. Eclipse will show an error. To rectify the error, click on it and double click import file reader java.io. The file reader class is imported from the java.io package. We will learn about package and its usage in detail in a later tutorial. To allow FR to access a file called marks which is located in the home folder, type the following code. The path shown here is to be replaced with that of your system's home folder. Now an error comes up. It indicates that this line of code can create a file not found exception. Click on the error and double click surround with try catch. We can see that Eclipse automatically inserts the try catch block to rectify this error. So we can understand that this is a checked exception. Next, let us see how to use finally block. Type the following code. Finally block usually follows a try catch block. The code inside this block is executed whether exception has occurred or not. It contains a print statement. Now let us close the file reference inside the finally block. So type fr dot close. Now Eclipse indicates that this will raise an IO exception. So click on the error and double click surround with try catch. Now let us run the program. We can see that file not found exception message is printed. This is because we don't have a file named marks in our home folder. We can also see a null pointer exception as fr still refers to a null value. But we can see that the print statement inside finally block gets executed. Let us now create a text file mocks in our home folder. If you are a Windows user, create a text file in your local drive and mention its path. For example, it can be specified as d colon slash slash marks dot txt. Let us now run the program again. We can verify that there are no exceptions once the marks file is created. And inside finally block gets printed. The cleanup operation that is closing the file reader object fr is also executed successfully. With this we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we have learnt about what is an exception, checked and unchecked exceptions, handling the exceptions using the try catch block and finally block. As an assignment, learn about another runtime exception called null pointer exception. Refer to the Java program named demo.java provided in the assignment link of this tutorial. An exception will be raised when you run this code. Identify the code which is responsible for the exception. Rectify it using a try catch block. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, 
gives certificates on passing the online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Department of Information Technology, Amal Chodhi College of Engineering. This is Priya from IIT Bombay. Thanks for joining.